Hi everyone, my name is Sean Curran, and my watch story is about my Omega Speedmaster Reduced. Uh, this watch is really meaningful to me for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, it's the watch that my father gave to me when I entered medical school. I'm currently uh, entering my final year of medical school at the Mayo Clinic, and he, this was his watch that he he gave to me. He knew how much I loved it. He knew I, there were so many so many memories tied to it. You know, anytime we would sit down, we'd talk about this watch. I'd tell him how much I love it, uh, and he ended up giving it to me, uh, which really meant a lot. Little did I know that the effect of this watch would be even even greater than just m the effect that it had on me. This is the daily driver I wear in, in the hospital. Um, I like it because it's not super flashy, but it, it gives me something that differenti differentiates me from the other people in the hospital wearing scrubs. Um, it's something I love and something I cherish, and it's on my wrist every single day. Now, I know there are a ton of watch lovers in the world, but it's not always easy to spot them, um, including in a hospital. But you'd be surprised at how many patients are also watch lovers and who admire pieces that you're wearing. Uh, I've had the privilege as a, as a fourth year medical student to interact with, with a lot of patients now. And one of the great things about being a medical student on the team is that I get more time than most people on the team to actually sit down and talk with a patient on a, on a more personal level, not just to diagnose them, but to really get to know them and form a relationship. Um, and I've had a number of patients who the strongest part of our relationship formed when they saw me wearing this watch and we started having a conversation about watches. The latest one I can remember is several months ago, I, this patient had to go uh, into surgery to get a brain biopsy because we found a mass. And so he came out of surgery, he was in you know the intensive care unit upstairs in our hospital and um, he was okay from the surgery, but there was no one else. He didn't have family up there yet, um, and I just went to go see him and check on him after surgery, and he saw my watch, and he said, hey, that's a beautiful watch. And I was like, oh, thanks. And he's like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's my, it's an Omega Speedmaster. Uh, you want to check it out? And so I showed it to him, and then he started talking to me about his love of watches, and his Daytona, which was, you know, his, his pride and joy. And we just got into this conversation about watches, which was so incredible. And I'm so glad that I could have that conversation with him because he was clearly anxious after surgery, not knowing what was next to come. But in that moment, just having a conversation about watches with him, let that anxiety drift away for just a small, small moment in time. And these are the, the little pieces of, of connection that I love. I love about medicine and I love about watches. I love that both of those things allow me to connect with, with people on a deeper level. And I will surely be wearing this watch for many more years to come. So thank you Hodinki for letting me share my story.